Well, one of the most successful players in Western Derby history is part of our game on team. It's three-time Ross Glendinning medalist Michael Barlow. And he joins us now live. Michael, good evening to you. What is it about the Western Derby and Michael Barlow? Three medals in five years. It's amazing. Oh, no one's more surprised uh, than myself, Tomo, at uh, that stat. I mean, I've, I've got lucky, lucky a couple of times um, and I think I'm just really lucky to play, play around some really talented players that take, take the attention off me a fair bit. All right, Michael, your midfield, you, Nat Fife and David Money have a huge advantage in size over the Eagles. On average, eight centimetres taller, six kilograms heavier. Is there a risk of being top heavy in the middle? Yeah, I, I saw that, um, those statistics the other night when you were interviewed, interviewing Pritta and, um, you know, we've probably really developed our game a lot with, through the midfield, able to throw probably eight or nine players through there, like Lockie Neal, Stephen Hill, who had a little bit more speed um, and a little bit more pace than, than the likes of myself, uh, David and Nathan. So we, we like to um, throw different, different uh, dynamics at the opposition and, and get as many players through there as possible so we're not too, too top heavy. You mentioned there the strength of the midfield has taken the tagging pressure off Stephen Hill. How important is he to the Dockers? Oh, he's a super player. I mean, he, he played, um, he, he started playing AFL football from the, from the first possible chance when he was drafted and, and he was basically tagged from his first, first couple of games. So I think it's really important um, from our group's perspective that, that we're taking a little bit of pressure off him um, and also just giving, the, giving him the ball as much as possible because he's just a sublime user. Um, he put a, put a hole in my chest a couple of times on the weekend, so he's a fantastic bloke to play with and um, just highly skilled and highly talented and, and no one at the club works as hard as Stephen. A couple of quick ones. Incredible turnaround from Zach Clark was running today at training. Will he play? I'd like to think so, yeah. So we've got training on, uh, on Friday, our main training, and if he can get through that, um, he'll certainly play. So that, that's his test and I think um, he's doing everything right at this stage to, to get the opportunity. Who gets the job of stopping Josh Kennedy? Yeah, 10 goals last week for Josh, so um, Luke McFarlane's been in the business for, for half of his life and um, loves these big, big challenges, big occasions and, and at the moment in the AFL environment there's no bigger challenge than Josh Kennedy, he's uh, in red hot form so Luke will be looking forward to that one. And just before we go, you're regarded as a smart footballer, uh, used the ball well, but what about the bottle? Let's quickly have a look at this Mick, just tell us what was happening here? Oh, mate, I was, I was a bit <laughs> stiff. I mean, I am, I, I've got to set the record straight. I am a university graduate, um, you know, good private school boy, but I, I've made a blue there, and uh, <laughs> I think it's gone viral. So, um, you know, I'd like to, like to go viral like Nathan Fife or Stephen Hill doing some of the stuff they do, but, you know, I'm just a larrikin and uh, the knockabout bloke. <laughs> good luck on Sunday, Mick. Thanks, Tom. Cheers.